if I am the Bears, you cut Jay Cutler. And I think every Bears fan is screaming about that out there. Jay Cutler, obviously, is one hell of a talent, but he's not worth it. And hell, I don't even think you can get a trade for Jay Cutler for how horrendous his contract is. And even though Jay Cutler, in my opinion, is not the worst quarterback in the NFL, he's he's in the bottom 10 when it comes to starters. But at the same time, though, you're not going to pull off a trade for that. you got to cut him, and then he was going to sign somewhere else as a backup quarterback. Now, the one thing about their quarterback situation is I definitely do like Mitch Trubisky. In my opinion, he's the best quarterback in this draft or so far in the first round. I like him a lot better than Deshaun Watson. But at the same time, though, I don't think the Bears can won't do awful with Deshaun Watson. I think he could be very good with Alshon Jeffrey if they franchise tag Alshon Jeffrey. And I would like to see him with uh, Kevin White, a nice um, agile player, just to see um, how well he'll do there. Also, when I, when I also look at the Bears, I also see some, maybe they could use a third receiver. I do like Eddie Royal, though, as a returner. He's a good return man. But at the same time, though, I would like them to see kind of like what John Fox did in 2013, that kind of offense where they basically had Demarius Thomas, Eric Decker, and then they had a Wes Welker and then Julius Thomas. They could do something like that. I think um, if they could, I know they like Zach Miller, but add a speed tight end, and then add a um, another a nice agile player at the uh, slot position. And hell, maybe they could just fit in Eddie Royal in there. Who knows? Now, in 2016, the Browns actually uh, did sign some players out there. They uh, got uh, Danny Trevathan and then Akeem Hicks. But I still think that they're going to need a guy on the end for Akeem Hicks um, to work because Akeem Hicks was was good, but um, they had to um, use a pass rusher w- with him in New England on the other side. They had a lot of pass rushing depth there. So if you're the Bears, you have to put a lot of depth on the defensive front. And you could sign Chandler Jones. I know he's an option. Um, there, per- there could be a guy you could um, trade for here and there. I think uh, maybe the Forrest Buckner out of the 49ers, maybe they don't want him. But you, you never know about these guys. But ideally, put some depth there. Uh, a second Mike, a middle linebacker, would also be good. And, yeah, an edge rusher would be good. If Miles Garrett falls into their lap, and Miles Garrett, he seems kind of like a scrub killer. But at the same time, though, he is kind of like a Julius Pepper. So you could try him out there at the outside linebacker position, kind of similar to that Julius uh, Peppers you kind of had there. And when Julius Peppers was there, it was very good. And if you have Julius Peppers and Akeem Hicks there, that could be a good combo right there. Now, when it comes to Adrian Amos, I know he has um, underachieved a lot, but I would like to see him with um, a pass rusher and all that. But if they want to trade Adrian Amos, they could um, trade him into a team that would like an athletic uh, young free safety that they could develop. Now, cornerbacks, it's, uh, it's a very interesting position. They, they got to get some more depth there, too. About the Bears' defense, it's all about depth, 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 depth. So, obviously, another big cornerback would be interesting right there. Um, I would not go after Brandon Browner. He might seem done for, but that could be a guy that they could go after. Uh, another big um, cornerback that they could potentially go after, or maybe not so much big, but maybe a veteran, Jonathan Joseph, if they want to put a cornerback right there, he could um, possibly fit pretty well into their system and all that. So, obviously the Bears, obviously it's mostly on the defensive side of the ball. Offensively, they still need some work there. I personally um, do enjoy watching uh, Jordan Howard. I think Jordan Howard has a lot of potential, and I would not worry about the running back position. The offensive line has been better in um, recent um, years. Obviously, it's not the best, but you at least got something there. And overall, the offense isn't really the concern. And when Jay Cutler was okay this year, the Bears' offense was okay. So if you could just get maybe an exciting quarterback, Deshaun Watson, a gimmicky quarterback, I think that could actually really work really well for the for the Chicago Bears and all that. So on the defensive side of the ball, you got to work on that depth. I look at Deshaun Watson, maybe Miles Garrett, try to go after one of those guys that they go after there. 
So for the Chicago Bears, I know they kept John Fox after a losing season. And I personally like John Fox as a um, head coach, but they're definitely going to have to improve on the defensive side of college when it comes to depth and offensively, they're going to really have to have to really show up just to help that defense out because it's really hard to clean up a defense in just one off season offense. It's a little bit different. You can get a couple guys here and there. It can work, but on the, on for the Chicago bears defense to develop the run that Tampa to the run that, that pass rush and all that, that they really want. It's going to take a couple years and it's going to be a slight long-term project.